well when you first go into it it'll be an auto click over to custom and then you go through and find a channel with as least noise on as possible anything 1 to 13 is 2.4 so if we go with channel 4 looks good so if we go with channel 4 right the drone or the screen will go off the lights will flash down there as you can see the screen all it's doing is just resetting the wi-fi between the controller and the drone as you can see there now we're just on 2.4 so let's go back to sports mode actually let's wait for the low flying aeroplane to go i'm pretty sure that is lower than 120 meters any thoughts He's struggling anyway, to be honest, but that is lower than 100. I'm sure my drone is higher than that when I go up there. But I'm only going to be going up 30 or 40 metres, so to be honest, I should be all right. It's just... Inconvenient, if you ask me. All right, so let's take off. Actually, it is a bit windy today. Ready? But we're still recording. doing a very quick pano where as you might get to see the drone but i've just looked and we've got a hawk come in over that field there so i probably think it's best now that we think about bringing the drone in we've got five minutes battery life left anyway three pictures to go So guys, um, just a quick conclusion really of the latest firmware update and some distance tests and stuff. On two, no, 5.8 I got 350-ish meters, but it'll be on the screen now. Um, 2.4, I got well over 700 meters, um, which is a, it's less than I was getting, although I wasn't flying in the same place 
as I was before because there's a lot of people down that way today so I've had to move along a little bit but you think still 700 meters for a drone of that size it's not exactly bad is it uh, I did a couple of batteries worth of flying today which I very rarely get to do because I never get small bits of time to go out flying but yeah, it was really nice got some cool pictures which I'm sure you've just seen um, like I said the new version of the software works fine I have no issues with it I know in the last video I said you sh I couldn't work out how to switch between 2.4 and 5.8 but a couple of people have been in contact to let me know how it's pretty easy um, but yeah as you can see it's, it works perfectly I love the spark to be honest I've had it now since I don't know quite a few months now and I've not had any problems with it at all um, I've flown it in England, in Spain, um, no problems at all. Because it's quite small, it doesn't get noticed, which is great. I've had quite a few people walking past me today, and from all they could tell is I was just stood there taking pictures. Um, not one person questioned me at all. I know when I had my Phantom, because of the size of it and the massive controller, everyone knows what you're doing. But the Spark straightforward and easy to be honest it's up in the air within a minute i know the battery last week but the batteries are only 50 quid each so you get yourself a couple of batteries and i know people moan about the whole having to come back to change the battery but it's not a massive drone you don't need to be going miles and miles out like people try to do with the mavic and the phantom threes and fours and stuff so Overall, I love it. I think it's amazing. So the only thing I wished it did was 60 frames a second. Everything I shoot is in 60 frames a second. Not really fussed about 4K. Um, although I do shoot in 4K, I don't really process in it because just of the file size and how long everything takes to edit. But 60 frames a second would be nice. I know we can slow down 30 to 24, which works okay, but it's still not enough of a step down in slow, slow motion. So, but that's all right. I'll get over that. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe.